Just an overthrow here from Bryce Perkins on third and ten. He's forcing this ball in. It goes way over the intended receiver and Turner in great position, great awareness to have his feet in bounds, control that ball to the ground. He's trying to get the ball to Terrell Chapman. And as good of decisions as Bryce Perkins had made during that drive, that was a force. What an athletic play by Noel Turtle. So off the sudden change, cuts to the offense, and it's Trevor Lawrence. Off the play fake. And the throw, and complete. There's T. Higgins. The turning point, he has been flawless. Here's Lawrence going to keep it. That's just asking for these guys to run. Some of uh, Sean Watson's records in high school with Georgia. This Travis Etienne running right up the middle. For the first recruit to commit at Virginia. Makes the big play there.
Lawrence against the ball to start the second half, too. Lawrence back to the end zone, juggled and caught. T. Higgins, second touchdown. And they'll take another look at it, but for now it's a score and a 30 to 7 lead by the Tigers. One-on-one -on -one with T. Higgins, and, and he has good position, good coverage, but you just give T. Higgins a chance, and he's going to make the play. Heskin Smith. A little adversity, a little chaos, a lot of criticism. As the NFL started quarterback, a jump ball that has won by Hasis Dubois. The pressure in his face. Perkins gets rid of it. It's Janet. Clemson and Christian Wilkins a year ago, and then Micah Kaiser from Virginia two years ago. Lawrence, deep shot down the middle of the field, and T. Higgins. It stayed up in the air forever. You don't have to make a great throw. No, that's, yeah. that's the beauty. Here's Lawrence. That's a good throw. <laughs> T. Higgins, touchdown Clemson. That took, that took a handful of plays to go all the way down the field after Virginia scored. That is the third touchdown catch of the game for T. Higgins. I mean, it honestly feels like they were just giving a win team a couple of years ago. Here's the fake. It's Nash Griffin, the punter, able to throw it and complete to Hayden Mitchell. All of that on a punt and not going to get there. Way to win 28 in a row this season. Lynn J. Dixon, right through the heart of that Virginia defense. 23 yards for another Clemson touchdown. You got Travis Etienne with that great career. I don't know if he's going to come back for another one. And you're going to have to find the next guy. Lynn J. Dixon, just a true sophomore. Great blocking up front. And it's hard. Like, if you're Virginia, front seven, it's that. Yeah. That is not Clemson's doing. And everybody has a Wofford on the schedule, right? Some people have two and three Woffords on the schedule. They have two. Minnesota, right? Minnesota winning? As we start quarter number four. That was before I was born. I know you were around. Perkins completing. In the middle of that Nebraska one, that was uh, a share. Oh, and, uh, here I'm going to go. dispute that one. <laughs> and how did you go that off the tip of your tongue? He's having a hard time breathing. Because of his ribs. Here's Bryce to throw. Down the middle of the field. So I had a Frank Jackson. The true Frank. Who they are. And I agree with him. And all he's doing is defending his, his team. And that's his job. By Clemson. The one player Virginia got on the first team was Joe Reed. He's injured tonight and unable to go. Interception, Isaiah Simmons for Clemson. And the defense continues to play big down the stretch for the Tigers. Able to turn it 22 yards back the other way. From the floor. Price going to keep it. Chase Price. a 
60 spot on Virginia. Our statistician and Nicole Ragoni, our booth coordinator. Yes. And everybody upstairs, downstairs, we crisscross the country all season long, laughing our way through college football. We certainly hope you have enjoyed it with us as they are enjoying it on the sideline. Now that's a great shot. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and a great year for, for Bronco Mendenhall. You can't lose sight of that, right? Like the, the narrative of this game cannot override the, the season that he had. Nine wins and the, the Coastal Championship and finally 15 years uh, waiting to get over Virginia Tech. All of that. And, and, and to see him in the Orange Bowl in a New Year's Six game, uh, that... that Armstrong able to complete to Billy Kemp. We wind down in the final half minute of play. Billy Kemp, the sophomore. And you're right, Greece. This has been a... You think where Virginia's coming from. This has been a fine season. Intercepted. Picked off by Clemson. And it's Keith McGuire. Ah, the interception. With 10 seconds left to play before it's championship trophy time for the Tigers of Clemson. All right, Chris, who's the best team in the country right now in college football? Gosh, that's hard. Todd, stand by. Coming to you next year. Gotcha. I still... <laughs> I'm going I'm to say LSU, but Clemson is right there with them. Right. Todd in agreement? LSU. Got it. As Dabo charges out of the field victorious. They will award an MVP of the game. Greasy turned his back like a schoolgirl in class, so I wouldn't copy his homework assignment. And we have differed on the MVP selection of this game. Down to Maria Taylor. All right, Coach, you made history. Five straight ACC championships. Uh, what does it mean to this program and the team that performed as well? Oh, man, it's unbelievable. I mean, just, just you know, got a group of young people that have just fought, and you don't get the chance to win five in a row without those previous teams that gave us the opportunity. So I'm thankful for all of our teams to, to give us this chance. But these guys have been amazing all year, so resilient, and to, to do something that's never been done, you know, Coach Spurrier, I hope he's watching. Coach Spurrier called me last year and said, yep, yeah, you tied the Gators. You tied the Gators. Well, we broke the Gators tonight. So, uh, first time that's ever been done. It's just amazing, a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will get us in the Final Four. And you will? Get us a chance to go compete, keep it playing. But, man, how about this guy right here? What a, what a great night by Trevor and all these guys. Super proud of our team. And we're 13-0, third time in the history of our school. So, Appreciate our crowd. It was an awesome night. You think you'd be the number one team in the nation? No, nah, we don't care. We just want to be in there somewhere. I mean, it don't matter. We just want to have a chance to, to continue to go, you know, compete and, and uh, you know, compete to be the best. That's all we want. All right, well, I'll talk to this quarterback that you've yeah, already man. been a lot of praise to. <laughs> Over 300 yards passing. That seems like a normal day for you, Trevor. Talk to me about what the statement was that you guys wanted to make coming into this championship game. Yeah, I mean, just the same thing for every game. We didn't want to change anything just because it's ACC championship. We want to prepare the same way. And, uh, I mean, this is a really good team. Virginia is. So just had a hard week of prep, really, just trying to get used to what they do defensively. They do a lot of good stuff. So, But it was, it was really good to play a team like this this week that gives you a lot of different looks. So then I was really proud of the way we handled it and came out with that fire and really you could tell we, we want to win. Your coach said this week that this year's team is even better than the team that went 15-0 and won a national championship last year. How would you compare what you did last season to what's going on right now? Yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's hard to compare. Uh, I think we're, we are better in some areas and then obviously, I mean, we had some great players last year, but I mean, the way we're playing, sorry, and how consistently we've been playing, I think we, we might be. <laughs> Do you think you are the number one team in the nation? I think so, but I mean, we'll hopefully in a couple weeks we'll get a chance to prove it. All right, thanks for your time, Trevor. Thank you. I believe that opportunity is coming their way. Well, Dabo was much more receptive to Maria's questions than some of Paul Feinbaum's comments. We'll wrap it up. We come back just a bit.